Information field theory IFT is a Bayesian statistical field theory relating to signal reconstruction, cosmography, and other related areas. IFT summarizes the information available on a physical field using Bayesian probabilities. It uses computational techniques developed for quantum field theory and statistical field theory to handle the infinite number of degrees of freedom of a field and to derive algorithms for the calculation of field expectation values. For example, the posterior expectation value of a field generated by a known Gaussian process and measured by a linear device with known Gaussian noise statistics is given by a generalized Wiener filter applied to the measured data. IFT extends such known filter formula to situations with nonlinear physics, nonlinear devices, non Gaussian field or noise statistics, dependence of the noise statistics on the field values, and partly unknown parameters of measurement. For this, it uses Feynman diagrams, renormalization flow equations, and other methods from mathematical physics. Topic. Motivation Fields play an important role in science, technology, and economy. They describe the spatial variations of a quantity, like the air temperature, as a function of position. Knowing the configuration of a field can be of large value. Measurements of fields, however, can never provide the precise field configuration with certainty. Physical fields have an infinite number of degrees of freedom, but the data generated by any measurement device is always finite, providing only a finite number of constraints on the field. Thus, an unambiguous deduction of such a field from measurement data alone is impossible and only probabilistic inference remains as a means to make statements about the field. Fortunately, physical fields exhibit correlations and often follow known physical laws. Such information is best fused into the field inference in order to overcome the mismatch of field degrees of freedom to measurement points. To handle this, an information theory for fields is needed, and that is what information field theory is. Topic: <laughs> Concepts. Topic. Bayesian inference S X display style S X is a field value at a location X element of Omega display style X in Omega in a space Omega display style Omega the prior knowledge about the unknown signal field S display style S is encoded in the probability distribution P S display style math call P S the data D display style D provides additional information on S display style S via the likelihood p d s display style math call p d s that gets incorporated into the posterior probability according to bayes theorem topic information hamiltonian In IFT Bayes' theorem is usually rewritten in the language of a statistical field theory, with the information Hamiltonian defined as the negative logarithm of the joint probability of data and signal and with the partition function being this reformulation of Bayes' theorem permits the usage of methods of mathematical physics developed for the treatment of statistical field theories and quantum field theories. Topic. Fields As fields have an infinite number of degrees of freedom, the definition of probabilities over spaces of field configurations has subtleties. 
Identifying physical fields as elements of function spaces provides the problem that no Lebesgue measure is defined over the latter and therefore probability densities cannot be defined there. However, physical fields have much more regularity than most elements of function spaces, as they are continuous and smooth at most of their locations. Therefore less general, but sufficiently flexible constructions can be used to handle the infinite number of degrees of freedom of a field. A pragmatic approach is to regard the field to be discretized in terms of pixels. Each pixel carries a single field value that is assumed to be constant within the pixel volume. All statements about the continuous field have then to be cast into its pixel representation. This way, one deals with finite dimensional field spaces, over which probability densities are well definable. In order for this description to be a proper field theory, it is further required that the pixel resolution delta x display style delta x can always be refined while expectation values of the discretized field s delta x display style s underscore delta x converge to finite values topic path integrals If this limit exists, one can talk about the field configuration space integral or path integral irrespective of the resolution it might be evaluated numerically. <laughs> Gaussian prior The simplest prior for a field is that of a zero mean Gaussian probability distribution. The determinant in the denominator might be ill defined in the continuum limit delta x 0 display style delta x right arrow 0. However, all what is necessary for IFT to be consistent is that this determinant can be estimated for any finite resolution field representation with Delta x greater than zero display style delta x greater than zero, and that this permits the calculation of convergent expectation values. A Gaussian probability distribution requires the specification of the field two-point correlation function S S S S Display style s equiv langle s s caret dagger wrangle underscore s with coefficients and a scalar product for continuous fields with respect to which the inverse signal field covariance s minus one display style s caret minus one is constructed, i.e. s minus one S X Y Omega D Z S minus one X Z S Z Y equals one X Y Delta X minus Y display style s caret minus one s underscore x y equiv int underscore omega d z s caret minus one underscore x z s underscore z y equals math b one underscore x y equiv delta x y. The corresponding prior information Hamiltonian reads. Topic: Measurement equation. The measurement data d display style d was generated with the likelihood p d s display style math call p d s 
In case the instrument was linear, a measurement equation of the form can be given, in which R is the instrument response, which describes how the data on average reacts to the signal, and N is the noise, simply the difference between data D and linear signal response R S display style R S it is essential to note that the response translates the infinite dimensional signal vector into the finite dimensional data space in components this reads D I equals Omega D X R I X S X plus N I display style D underscore I equals int underscore Omega D X R underscore X S underscore X plus N underscore I where a vector component notation was also introduced for signal and data vectors. If the noise follows a signal independent zero mean Gaussian statistics with covariance n display style n p n s equals g n n display style math call p n s equals math call g n n then the likelihood is Gaussian as well, and the likelihood information Hamiltonian ESA linear measurement of a Gaussian signal, subject to Gaussian and signal independent noise leads to a free IFT. <laughs> free theory <laughs> Free Hamiltonian The joint information Hamiltonian of the Gaussian scenario described above I swear equals caret display style wide hat equals denotes equality up to irrelevant constants, which in this case means expressions that are independent of s display style s. From this is it clear that the posterior must be a Gaussian with mean m display style m and variance d display style d where equality between the right and left hand sides holds as both distributions are normalized d s p s d equals 1 equals d S G S minus M D display style int math call D S math call P S D equals one equals int math call D S math call G S M D topic generalized Wiener filter. The posterior mean is also known as the generalized Wiener filter solution and the uncertainty covariance as the Wiener variance. In IFT J equals R N minus 1 D displaystyle J equals R caret dagger N caret minus 1 D is called the information source, as it acts as a source term to excite the field knowledge, and d the information propagator, as it propagates information from one location to another in <laughs> Interacting theory
Topic: <laughs> Interacting Hamiltonian If any of the assumptions that lead to the free theory is violated, IFT becomes an interacting theory, with terms that are of higher than quadratic order in the signal field. This happens when the signal or the noise are not following Gaussian statistics, when the response is nonlinear, when the noise depends on the signal, or when response or covariances are uncertain. In this case, the information Hamiltonian might be expandable in a Taylor Fréché series. Where H free D S display style math call H underscore text free D S is the free Hamiltonian, which alone would lead to a Gaussian posterior, and H int D S display style math call H underscore text int D S is the interacting Hamiltonian, which encodes non-Gaussian corrections. The first and second order Taylor coefficients are often identified with the negative information source. Minus J displaystyle J an information propagator D displaystyle D respectively. The higher coefficients lambda x 1 x n n display style lambda underscore x underscore 1 x underscore n caret n are associated with nonlinear self interactions topic classical field The classical field S C L display style S underscore text C L minimizes the information Hamiltonian and therefore maximizes the posterior. The classical field S C L display style S underscore text C L is therefore the maximum a posteriori estimator of the field inference problem. Topic. Critical filter The Wiener filter problem requires the two-point correlation S S S S display style S equiv Langle S S carrot dagger wrangle underscore S of a field to be known. If it is unknown, it has to be inferred alongside with the field itself. This requires the specification of a hyperprior P S display style math call P S. Often, statistical homogeneity can be assumed, implying that S display style S is diagonal in Fourier space for omega equals R U. Display style omega equals math b r caret u being a u display style u dimensional Cartesian space. In this case, only the Fourier space power spectrum p s k display style p underscore s vec k needs to be inferred. Given statistical isotropy, this spectrum depends only on the length k equals k display style k equals vec k of the Fourier vector k display style vec k and only a one-dimensional spectrum p s k display style p underscore s k has to be determined the prior field covariance reads then in fourier space coordinates s k q equals 
2 pi u delta k minus q p s k Display style s underscore vec k vec q equals two pi caret u delta vec k vec q p underscore s k. If the prior on p s k display style p underscore s k is flat the joint probability of data and spectrum i swear the notation of the information propagator d equals s minus 1 plus r n minus 1 r minus 1 Display style d equals s caret minus one plus r caret dagger n caret minus one r caret minus one, and source j equals r n minus one d. Display style j equals r caret dagger n caret minus one d of the Wiener filter problem was used again. The corresponding information Hamiltonian I swear equals caret display style wide hat equals denotes equality up to irrelevant constants here constant with respect to p s display style p underscore s minimizing this with respect to P S display style P underscore S in order to get its maximum a posteriori power spectrum estimator yields where the Wiener filter mean M equals D J display style M equals D J and the spectral band projector P K Q Q two Pi U Delta Q minus Q Delta Q minus K Display style Math B P underscore K underscore VEC Q VEC Q equiv two Pi carrot U delta VEC Q VEC Q delta VEC Q K were introduced. The latter commutes with S minus one Display style S carrot minus one since S minus one K Q equals two Pi U Delta K minus Q P S K minus one Display style S carrot minus one underscore VEC K VEC Q equals two Pi carrot U delta VEC K VEC Q P underscore S K carrot minus one is diagonal in Fourier space. The maximum a posteriori estimator for the power spectrum is therefore it has to be calculated iteratively, as m equals d j display style m equals d j and d equals s minus one plus r n minus one r minus one display style d equals s caret minus one plus r caret dagger n caret minus one r caret minus one depend both on p s display style p underscore s themselves. In an empirical Bayes approach, the estimated P S display style P underscore S would be taken as given. 
As a consequence, the posterior mean estimate for the signal field is the corresponding m, display style m, and its uncertainty the corresponding d, display style d, in the empirical Bayes approximation. The resulting nonlinear filter is called the critical filter. The generalization of the power spectrum estimation formula as exhibits a perception thresholds for delta 1 display style delta meaning that the data variance in a Fourier band has to exceed the expected noise level by a certain threshold before the signal reconstruction m display style m becomes non-zero for this band. Whenever the data variance exceeds this threshold slightly, the signal reconstruction jumps to a finite excitation level, similar to a first-order phase transition in thermodynamic systems. For filter with delta equals 1 display style delta equals 1 perception of the signal starts continuously as soon the data variance exceeds the noise level. The disappearance of the discontinuous perception at delta equals one display style delta equals one is similar to a thermodynamic system going through a critical point. Hence, the name critical filter. The critical filter, extensions thereof to nonlinear measurements, and the inclusion of non-flat spectrum priors, permitted the application of IFT to real-world signal inference problems, for which the signal covariance is usually unknown a priori. <laughs> IFT application examples The generalized Wiener filter, that emerges in free IFT, is in broad usage in signal processing. Algorithms explicitly based on IFT were derived for a number of applications. Many of them are implemented using the numerical information field theory library. D cubed PO is a code for denoising, deconvolving, and decomposing photon observations. It reconstructs images from individual photon count events taking into account the Poisson statistics of the counts and an instrument response function. It splits the sky emission into an image of diffuse emission and one of point sources, exploiting the different correlation structure and statistics of the two components for their separation. D cubed PO has been applied to data of the Fermi and the RXTE satellites. Resolve is a Bayesian algorithm for aperture synthesis imaging in radio astronomy. Resolve is similar to d-cubed PO, but it assumes a Gaussian likelihood and a Fourier space response function. It has been applied to data of the very large array. PySESA is a Python framework for spatially explicit spectral analysis for spatially explicit spectral analysis of point clouds and geospatial data. Advanced theory Many techniques from quantum field theory can be used to tackle IFT problems, like Feynman diagrams, effective actions, and the field operator formalism. Feynman diagrams In case the interaction coefficients Lambda n display style lambda caret n in a Taylor Frechet expansion of the information Hamiltonian air small the log partition function or Helmholtz free energy can be expanded asymptotically in terms of these coefficients. The free Hamiltonian specifies the mean m equals d j display style m equals d j and variance d display style d of the gaussian distribution g s minus m d display style math call g s m d over which the expansion is integrated this leads to a sum over the set C 
display style c of all connected Feynman diagrams from the Helmholtz free energy, any connected moment of the field can be calculated via situations where small expansion parameters exist that are needed for such a diagrammatic expansion to converge are given by nearly Gaussian signal fields, where the non-Gaussianity of the field statistics leads to small interaction coefficients. Lambda n display style lambda caret n for example, the statistics of the cosmic microwave background is nearly Gaussian, with small amounts of non-Gaussianities believed to be seeded during the inflationary epoch in the early universe. <laughs> <laughs> Effective action In order to have a stable numerics for IFT problems, a field functional that if minimized provides the posterior mean field is needed. Such is given by the effective action or Gibbs free energy of a field. The Gibbs free energy G G can be constructed from the Helmholtz free energy via a Legendre transformation. In IFT, it is given by the difference of the internal information energy and the Shannon entropy for temperature T equals 1 T equals 1 where a Gaussian posterior approximation P S D equals G S Minus m d display style math call p s d equals math call g s m d is used with the approximate data d equals m d display style d equals m d Containing the mean and the dispersion of the field, the Gibbs free energy is then the kullback liebler divergence KL P P displaystyle text KL math call P math call P between approximative and exact posterior plus the Helmholtz free energy. As the latter does not depend on the approximate data D equals m d display style d equals m d minimizing the gibbs free energy is equivalent to minimizing the kullback liebler divergence between approximate and exact posterior thus the effective action approach of ift is equivalent to the variational bayesian methods which also minimize the kullback liebler divergence between approximate and exact posteriors Minimizing the Gibbs free energy provides approximatively the posterior mean field whereas minimizing the information Hamiltonian provides the maximum a posteriori field. As the latter is known to overfit noise, the former is usually a better field estimator. <laughs> <laughs> Operator formalism The calculation of the Gibbs free energy requires the calculation of Gaussian integrals over an information Hamiltonian, since the internal information energy issue integrals can be calculated via a field operator formalism, in which is the field operator. This generates the field expression S within the integral if applied to the Gaussian distribution function, and any higher power of the field if applied several times, if the information Hamiltonian is analytical, all its terms can be generated via the field operator as the field operator does not depend on the field S S itself, it can be pulled out of the path integral of the internal information energy construction, where 1 M equals one display style one underscore M equals one should be regarded as a functional that always returns the value one display style one 
irrespective the value of its input m display style m the resulting expression can be calculated by commuting the mean field annihilator d d d m display style d frac mathrm d mathrm d m to the right of the expression where they vanish since D D M one M equals zero Display style FRAC Mathem D Mathem D M one underscore M equals zero. The mean field annihilator D D D M Display style D frac mathrm D mathrm D M commutes with the mean field as by the usage of the field operator formalism the Gibbs free energy can be calculated, which permits the approximate inference of the posterior mean field via a numerical robust functional minimization. Topic History. The Book of Norbert Wiener might be regarded as one of the first works on field inference. The usage of path integrals for field inference was proposed by a number of authors, e.g. Edmund Birchinger or William Bialek and A.Z. The connection of field theory and Bayesian reasoning was made explicit by Georg Lem. The term information field theory was coined by Torsten Enlund. See the latter reference for more information on the history of IFT. Topic. See also Bayesian inference Bayesian hierarchical modeling Gaussian process Statistical inference